Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the options that Microsoft is adding to uninstall Windows Recall from Windows 11. After pulling out Windows Recall from the operating system due to privacy and security concerns, Microsoft has announced that the AI feature will become available for testing on Copala Plus PCs. And recent updates for Windows 11, we can now see that the company is adding a new mechanism to completely remove the feature from Windows 11 version 24H2. Just remember that this is a preview version of Windows 11, so it is unclear when and if these options will become available in the final release of Windows 11. Okay, let's dive into recurrent ways that you might be able to remove recall from your computer. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, to uninstall Windows Recall, do the following. Open Start and look for Settings. Now, let's go to System and then we're going to open the Optional Features page. In here, we're just going to scroll down and click on More Windows Features option. This will open the Legacy Windows Features page. And to remove the Recall AI feature, we need to scroll down. And as you can see right here, we need to clear the Recall option and then just click the OK button. And that's it. Just like that, we removed the AI feature from the computer. One thing to remember is that Recall is only part of the AI platform since Windows 11 version 24H2 also includes the Windows Copilot Runtime, which is a system that integrates the new AI platform. And this AI platform includes AI frameworks, tool change, the new Copilot library, on-device AI models, and apps and features that provide those AI capabilities. Also remember that when you use the Windows Feature Settings page to remove a feature from the operating system, you are removing the feature, but technically you're only disabling it. What I mean by that is that when you use this interface, it will remove the feature, but the components will continue to be available in the operating system. So at any time you can come back and check the option and the system will reinstall the components. Now, this is a little bit different from features on demand, which are available through the optional features page on Windows 11. And it allows you to select the feature and the components will be downloaded from the Microsoft servers. And when you remove these optional features, that actually components will also be removed from the system. Now, if you want to reinstall the feature, you just need to do the same thing, but you need to check the option. And just to review the steps with you, just to open the start menu and look for turn Windows features on and off. This is another way you can access the legacy Windows features page and then just find the recall option, check it, and then click the OK button. And that's it. Now, you can also remove the recall AI using PowerShell. And to do that, open start and look for PowerShell or the Windows Terminal. I like to use the terminal, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to right click on it and select the Run as Administrator option. And then I'm going to start a PowerShell session. I'm going to clear the screen. And this is the command that you want to use to uninstall the feature on your computer. And then press Enter. And just like that, the components have been removed from the computer. Now, if you want to reinstall the Windows Recall feature, just use the enable variant of the same command. And that's it. Another option to uninstall Windows Recall on your computer is to use command prompt. And to do that, open start and look for command prompt or the Windows terminal. I like to use the Windows terminal. So I'm going to open this system administrator, I'm going to clear the screen, and then you want to use this command. And as you can see, now the feature has been removed from the computer. Now, if you want to reinstall the feature on your computer, you need to use the, the enable variant of the same command, as you can see right here, and then just press enter. And that's it. That's a closer look at the different options that you might be able to use to remove this AI feature on your computer. 
However, remember that Windows Recall will not be available on every computer. So you can relax if you don't have a device with an MPU or is a few years old. To use this feature, you will need to have a Copilot Plus PC, at least initially, and in the future, it might become available more broadly. You will need a very capable hardware to have this feature running. Finally, it's important to note that the feature isn't enabled by default. It will be something that you must enable manually. Also, once you turn it on, you can always disable Windows 11 Recall through the Settings app. Don't forget to like the video and leave your comments letting me know your thoughts about Microsoft adding these options into the operating system. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.